This episode of Joe Genius is brought to you by GoDaddy and Gamefly. Go to Gamefly.com slash Genius for your free trial membership. You know you want it. Enjoy the view. Yeehaw! Woo! Give the backyard scientist a camera and things get a little bit weird. This ain't your grandpappy science show. This is Joe Genius. Hello everybody, welcome to Joe Genius, where backyard science goes big time. I'm Jonah Ray, and in this episode, we're gonna watch a bunch of Joe Geniuses attempt to break the law. Of gravity. See what I did there? Let's take a look at the physics of the free fall. Now, gravity accelerates all objects, regardless of their size, at a constant 9.8 meters per second squared. Now I know what I'm talking about. Ah, but we'll get to more of that later. You know, Gravity has brought down many a man, and even a balloon boy or two. This is gravity in its purest form, and it is relentless. For hundreds of years, the only thing we knew about what keeps us firmly planted is what Newton told us. That is until Albert Einstein came around with his Joe Genius smarts. He put his stamp on gravity by describing it as a warp in four-dimensional space-time. So you're not really being pulled by gravity into your seat. According to Einstein, you're actually being pushed down by the curve of all the warped space around you. And that's why he's Einstein, because I didn't know what that means. This guy from India is testing gravity's pull by climbing up a stone wall barefoot. And although he says it's a great workout, he's really looking forward to when they fix the elevator. That was awesome. I'd like to take a minute to thank our sponsor, GoDaddy. Are you looking to drive viewers to your video content? They get a .tv domain name and stand out from the crowd. TV domains are perfect for podcasters, video bloggers, anyone with anything to say, really. And they're all available now at GoDaddy.com. And remember, you can download GoDaddy's free iPhone, Android, or BlackBerry app to order right from your phone or manage your current account. Check out Revision3.com slash GoDaddy for a list of all the amazing GoDaddy deals from Revision3. Also, type in Genius8 and get 10% off any order. Who's your daddy? GoDaddy. I'm told by the people who actually use them that weights really pump you up. I don't know what that means, but they can also bring you down. <laughs> the worst part is that he has to do that seven nights a week with a matinee on Sunday. Oh, oh, oh. This dude in Austria tried and tried and tried to get his model plane ready for air and all for this monumental takeoff. Ouch! You know, but only in the world of Joe Genius do you get an award for crashing your plane. For his service to science, we're gonna give him the Joe Better Luck Next Time Award. So better luck next time, guy. Check out this unicyclist, getting what he deserves for riding a unicycle. But it seems like gravity gets the last laugh for Josh and Steven. Let's go, you look amazing. <laughs> All right, so exactly what are we learning here? Respect gravity and learn how to use it. This team of professional skydivers is known as the Skywalkers.
Here, they performed the Kessel Run in less than 12 parsecs, but I could be thinking of another Skywalker. To get this skydive dance down, they had to do about 450 training jumps and about 50 hours of wind tunnel exercises. All right, let's back this up. Skydiving is fun, that's a fact. And there's science all around. There are two main forces that come into play after you jump out of a plane. And no, I'm not talking about fear and pee. I'm talking about gravity and friction. While you're falling, you feel friction in the form of air resistance or drag. That drag keeps increasing the faster you go until it exerts a force equal to the gravitational force and the acceleration becomes zero. In that case, you've reached terminal velocity and you continue falling at the same speed. Fascinating information, but I prefer to stay attached to the ground or a bungee cord like these guys. Just uh, experiencing a little bungee jumping here. Yeah? Every bungee jump and bungee jumper is different. So how do the people who set up the jump ensure that it doesn't end in a very somber phone call? Science. To determine how far you'll drop, you need to factor in your weight and the elasticity of the bungee cord you're using. Basically, you want to make sure the pull of the cord becomes greater than the pull of gravity before you hit the ground. Otherwise, well, you don't need to be a Joe genius to see what can go wrong. And now for the absolutely coolest way to escape gravity. This is the Martin Jetpack in New Zealand. It has two fan jets propelling air powered by a 200 horsepower engine. That's all well and good if you happen to have access to a federally funded defense contract, but at Joe Genius, we're all about the backyard science. Tim Pickens, the awesome rocket scientist behind this ultimate summer toy, built it all for the kids. Tim used PVC pipe, foam, and fiberglass to make this water-powered jetpack, and it only cost him about $1,000. Riders are able to hover because the jet ski forces water through the jetpack. I want to take a moment to talk about our sponsor, Gamefly. Gamefly is the largest online video game rental service that offers you a choice from over 7,000 new and classic titles across all consoles and handhelds. With plans starting at $15.95 a month, Gamefly members can rent one to four games at a time and keep them as long as they like. There are no late fees or due dates, and shipping's always free. Once you're done playing a game, you can send it back and Gamefly will send you the next one on your list. If you really like the game you're playing, simply click on Keep It on the Gamefly website, and the game is yours at a discounted price. Gamefly will even mail you the case and manuals free of charge. Do you have friends that will do that? Probably not. Joe Genius fans get a 15-day free trial when they go to Gamefly.com slash Genius. Be one and go to Gamefly.com. It's now time for my favorite part of the show, the Joe Genius Award. And it's been a tough free-falling competition out there, but I've decided that the Joe Genius Award goes to... Tim Pickens in the Backyard Water Jetpack. Congrats, Tim. That's a sweet gravity-defined ride. So there you have it, gravity. It's constantly pulling us toward the center of the Earth. But Joe geniuses everywhere are trying all sorts of crazy stunts to use and abuse it. Thanks for watching, Joe Genius. I'm Jonah Ray, and I've done this whole episode without a parachute. Joe Genius is brought to you in part by the National Science Foundation.